So hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing some more collage uh, using mark making techniques and acrylic paint. So I've got a selection of paints here. I've got kind of primary colors. I've got a red, a yellow, and this, it's kind of a greeny blue. I've also got some white and I've got some glue and scissors for making my collage with. I'm going to be painting on these little squares of card that I've cut and these are 10 centimeters square but whatever size card you happen to have uh, you go with that. Um, I'm just painting on this normal white cardstock. Um, you can use paper if you don't have card um, but the, the more heavy weight your paper or card the better it'll hold the paint. I've also got some pieces of card that I painted earlier. So these are the ones that I used in other videos this week and I can use some of these colours as well. Now I want to do some mark making on my card when I've painted it and so I can do that with paint um, and there's absolutely no reason why not. Uh, but I've also got some other art supplies. I've been looking through what I've got that would make a mark on top of acrylic paint and I'm just going to try them out. I'm going to experiment and play and see how they go. So I've got quite a few of these coloured paint markers and I've used the white version of this in quite a lot of uh, my projects and videos but I do actually have some other colours as well so I may include some of these. You might want to look out and see what kind of markers, felt tip pens, uh, things like that that you have. I've also got this strange little box which is full of, um, they're called Conti sticks and they're, they're a bit like crayons I think, they're more like chalky uh, but yeah that's the, that's the general effect is they're like, they're like big sticks of chalk. So I might have a go with those. I've also got a set of oil pastels and these give a kind of similar effect to the Conti sticks uh, but they're, they're much creamier. So I might try those as well. Let's see what I like. But it's just a chance to experiment so if you've got some coloured pencils or something like that then maybe dig them out and have a play and see how they work and see whether they work and paint on top of the acrylic paint or if they don't. So I've got my lovely marked sheet of paper down on the table so I'm not going to damage the surface by painting on it. And I'm going to start mixing up some colours. I want to start with a red. I'm going to use some reds and some greens for this and maybe a little bit of yellow as well. And let's just try painting one, just in pure red straight from the tube. Okay, well I'm just going to keep going and painting and I'm going to mix different colours. I'm going to mix some white into my red to make some pinks. I mix a little bit of yellow in to get some kind of peachy pinks. And then I want to make some greens and I'm going to do that by mixing the blue and the yellow together. got enough now so I'm just going to leave those to dry and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do some mark making on top of them. So now I've got lots of these squares of paper all in slightly different colours of reds, pinks and greens and I'm going to take them one at a time and add some marks to them. So for this one I'm going to take some paint and I'm going to do some marks in paint just like I did when I did the black and white ones earlier in the week. I'm just going to see how many different marks I can make. When you're doing these, um, if you do your marks in something that's kind of a similar colour to what you painted before, so there's not too much of a clash, 
that'll work better for the final collage. So I did this one in a green, so I'm painting this kind of turquoise over the top. Now I'm going to start bringing in some of my other mark making tools and media and see uh, what I can do with those. So let's do some pink on red. is very close to this green here. I wonder if it's going to stand out at all. Oh, it's subtle. But you can see it. And I'm going to try some of these. Let's see, let's try that lime green. a nice colour of oil pastel. Let's go with the red. Oh, feels really nice to put down. It may look very similar to the Conti sticks that I was using, but it definitely feels a lot creamier and softer. So now all my painted and marked pieces of uh, paper are dry and I'm going to uh, start putting together my collage. What I want is a little bouquet of flowers. So that's the end goal. And I've got this piece of A4 paper that I'm going to arrange it all on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting out some flower shapes and arranging them on the paper and then I'll see where we go. So I'm going to start with this one and what I'm going to do is cut myself a square of it. It's about the size that I want my biggest flowers to be. And then I'm just using my scissors to go around and cut some rough petal shapes really doesn't have to be perfect so that's one let's do another
and a third. It's useful to have an odd number. So three, five, seven work really well. It just, it feels pleasing to the eye. So three basic flowers and that's going to be the centre of my little bouquet of flowers. What I fancy now is giving these flowers a little bit of a centre. So I'm going to cut myself a strip of this yellow. Let's see. Let's cut it into three and then round the corners of that. And again you can see this is really not particularly neat circle. That's all right. It adds to the character. So I like to keep my scissors still and move my paper. I find that helps me to control my cut. I can keep even pressure all the way around and I don't get any jagged bits. So that's a nice start. I think what I could do with now is some leaves and I'm going to cut myself some sprays of leaves. So I'm going to cut two or three leaves from each sheet. So let's do a little bit of a stem, go out to the side, cut a first leaf, bring it to a point, bring it back into the stem, a little bit further up. Let's do another leaf, bring it back down to the stem, and then out to the side again. And I've cut myself a little leaf shape and I can just tuck that in behind one of the flowers. So I'm going to do that a few times and I might vary the shape of the leaves a little bit. Now we could do some smaller flowers. And I'm going to make them look like they're the buds of these flowers here that haven't quite opened yet. So I'm going to take these that we didn't finish and I'm going to cut some smaller shapes from here. And then I'm going to cut some loose rectangles from these shapes. And they can be different sizes. So yeah. So rounded rectangles, like that. And again, three is a good number. So I think it's really useful if these are on stems. So what I'm going to do is cut a long strip to be a stem and obviously this is far too wide to be a stem for a flower but what I want is I want to roughly round the top like that and then create kind of a Y shape, a funnel shape at the top and then continue down the stem. So cut in from that side. So now I've cut a long thin shape with like a, a wider bulbous bit at the top. And when I put that on one of those rounded rectangles that I cut out earlier, it now looks a bit like a flower bud. Now I'd probably lose these if I, if I put them down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this one. and attach it there and then that allows me to place that bud wherever I want it. I'm 
So you'll notice I haven't stuck anything down to the paper yet. This just gives me a chance to move things around and try different positions before I commit to a final arrangement. Now that's looking quite nice up here. I think we could do something down here. And I think we could do with like a little spray of berries or buds or something like that. So I'm going to take another of my green sheets of paper and I'm going to cut a fairly wide strip like this. And then what I'm going to do is cut a little way up for the stem and then I'm going to cut a number of little shoots out to the side. And there we've got a little skinny sticky thing. I'm going to cut some really small circles about the same size as my thumbnail. And they're going to be little buds or berries or something that are going to go on that branch. So I've got six pointy out bits, so I'm going to need six circles. And again, a little bit of glue on there. We'll just hold these in place. getting there. I think what I could do with is maybe a little bit more in the background so I could maybe do with a couple of other leaves. So I might just do some bigger leaves like this that I can put in behind and just keep adding to this. So I'm quite liking that. I think I could maybe do with something else over here. Maybe another little spray or another little bud or something. So I'll I'll maybe I could make I could make one of each and see how they look. And that's looking a lot better. So now I've got all my elements made, I can continue to play and rearrange and then when I'm happy I can stick them all down. One thing I'm interested to know is what this would look like if I did it on a dark background. So I've got some black paper here. Let's see if I can... Oh, See when I transfer the whole lot onto some black paper, all of those colours really start to sing. I really like that. So I think I'm going to stick them down on here. Of course if you don't have any black paper you could always paint a sheet of white paper just in the way that we did with these and that would look really nice too. So let's get sticking and of course we need to do the bottom elements first which is tricky because we won't be able to remember where we put the ones on the top. So I'm going to use a little bit of glue on the back of here but I'm not going to do the whole thing because I want them to be well stuck down, but I'd like them to have a bit of movement as well, and a little bit of dimension. So these edges here I'm not going to stick down. So this is my final collage. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really love how all of the little marks that I made on the papers just give it that sense of extra texture and dimension. And I'm really glad I went with it on the black paper as well. I think that the, the flowers really kind of pop from there. So 
I'd love it if you uh, made one of these and if you do uh, do let me know and I look forward to seeing you uh, in a future video. So thanks very much for watching today. If you liked what you saw, please do subscribe. I produce new art and maker videos and during this lockdown phase I'm doing several a week, uh, usually trying to do three a week. So I look forward to seeing you very soon. Thanks, bye!